I know that many of my colleagues on this committee are closely tracking repairs and recovery at Tyndall Air Force Base in Camp Lejeune. I mean, I, I know that that is a key priority for all of us. We stand with you. Um, you have our support. But I want to know going forward, because I am very, very concerned about what I believe is an existential crisis with climate change, how can we best plan proactively to protect our military personnel and resources from the challenges that come from climate change? Is res resilience planning required? And standardization, should that be required as well across all installations? Yeah, Congresswoman, uh, there is no safe place for weather. If we look at this last year, we had earthquakes, we had forest fires, we had tornadoes, we had flooding, we had hurricanes. We have to plan for resilience at our bases. Our bases are our warfighting power projection platform. And so we need to look at the requirements. We need to make sure we got resiliency built in. And we also have to, as we uh, use Tyndall as an example, use that as an opportunity to design the base of the future with the right infrastructure and the right, right resiliency built into it. And we need to do that broadly across all of our bases and infrastructure. As we look to the future and we rebuild the half of our buildings that we lost, we have no intention of one for one replacing all of those buildings. Tyndall Air Force Base, like many other bases in our Air Force, um, was very disparate. It was built over, in our case, 80 years uh, in a very piecemeal fashion. We missed an opportunity for efficiencies. How do we build uh, centralized facilities, common use facilities. Uh, so one of the things that we did as we began the master planning process was we asked that question. We have two sides of the base, a flight line side and a support side. How can we be more efficient with what we put on the flight line? Are there mission sets on the flight line side that we can pull to the support side consolidate those missions into multi-use, consolidated, efficient facilities in a way that makes more sense, that's less expensive to maintain for 80 or 100 years as, as long as we keep them, to free up space on the flight line for things that are unique to the mission. The flight line on Tyndall Air Force Base, five years from now, will look very different. There will be fewer buildings. There will be more efficient buildings. Uh, it will be easier for our airmen to walk from place to place, as opposed to have to get in their car and drive to all of these different places. And we think, quite honestly, that we'll be more effective. I will tell you one of, if not the biggest lesson that I have learned is how important it is to empower subordinate commanders, especially squadron commanders. If in the end, and I think we will, be successful at securing our missions now and in the future, successful in taking care of our airmen, and successful in rebuilding the base of the future. It's gonna be because we did it their way, not because we did it my way.